Hello everyone and welcome back to Reassembly. In today's episode, I am kind of trying to clarify what's pretty much going to happen to Reassembly here. I think I'm going to focus more on catching up with the Terraria challenge. Since I have so many recordings in Terraria, that's what I've decided since it's going to be almost impossible to catch up with two um, series and special videos as well. I won't go into a whole lot of detail about uh, said special videos. You'll have to see them when they come out. But I really hope you enjoy them because uh, I have spent a lot of time in said videos editing them. I mean, most of my reassembly videos don't take a whole lot of time to edit and create but for now i would kind of like more uh quality over quantity of videos all right let's activate this one so what i might do for the viewers that actually want to see more reassembly is i might i might edit it as almost full uh full uncut footage i feel like that will be a lot smoother if, if I do continue this, I might put it on hold for now, but I definitely want to play more reassembly later, especially because I find these massive fleet battles so much fun. Such a simple game, but it can be the most goofy or the most intense fighting game ever. Well, not ever, but you get the gist. It can be pretty cool. Update on the Swordmaster series. I've got the boys playing on Calamity, so that will hopefully be out soon. For that one, we are focusing on Calamity uh, weapons for our mastering of weapon type, which means all the vanilla uh, weapons will be fair game, granted our, our weapon class, but the actual Calamity uh, modded uh weapons we have to go in order like in uh like in the vanilla series i don't know when that will be coming out but hopefully relatively soon i still have to go through a lot of recordings for the past couple days uh i've been converting all of my recording files to constant frame rate which has pretty much been taking like throughout all the night and day to convert them to constant frame rate since my editing software requires constant frame rate to line up the audio and video. Hopefully me explaining this will clear things up for the future. I am creating something very, very big on the way um, that has taken multiple days to edit, and I've got an extra guest that will help be, uh, be helping me on audio, mainly music. Not 100% on that, because he doesn't spend a lot of time on his PC, so I don't know if he's going to be available to screw with the audio uh, on said videos, but hopefully he can help me out with that, that would be cool. If not, um... I don't think it's going to be too big of a problem. I'll try my best with the music, but most likely is going to end up getting copyrighted anyways, because it's a lot of music that technically isn't ours. So I'll have to put them in the, the description to give them credit where credit's due, especially making that massive project into what it will be like, which I think it's pretty epic, but I guess we'll see by the view rating on that video when it's up. But it does cast uh, me and three other people, and along with the other person that's doing the audio. Well, hopefully that clears a lot of things up. If you like this video, leave a like, subscribe, it really helps out the channel. And like always, till next time.